A tower on distant shore. And about its peak, a piercing mist. And in that mist, the sun crest waits. My lady, your words still sound of doubt. Pray you reach your answer ere we the sun crest. And? Should I choose revenge, what then? Then your woe shall be your own. Vaughn, a word. If something untoward should happen to me, you're taking the straw. Untoward? What's this about? I am the leading man. Might need to do something heroic. Don't worry, I'll show you how to fly her. Okay, we have reached this place that I'm not even going to bother trying to pronounce. We have basically been led around by the nodes for the past, like, pretty much the entire game. Ash has been lured out of hiding in the beginning of the game in an attempt to either assassinate or capture Vane, and that was all part of the trap to get her to go in. Reveal herself so she can capture Also, I'm... Us going to get the Dawn Shard turns out that was part of the Empire's plan because they wanted to get it so they could take it. Dr. Sid led us in the last couple of episodes because he wanted us to go to this and then go to that. It's basically, we've been running around trying to do the crap that they've been basically setting up for us. And of course, we are well aware that this is something that the Dr. Sid wanted us to do. Now exactly what that is that he intends for us to do here, that hasn't been revealed yet. Level up! But you know it can't be good. So Ash is going to be faced with a decision. She has the possibility that she is going to be able to use the sword of... was it the sword of kings or was it the sword of something else? The treaty blade and the sword of kings. Well, one of these two swords will destroy the sun crest, the source of all of the Nephysite. And at the very least, it will destroy the um, destroy the day back to Nephysite, and basically the super weapon that Arcadia has gained access to. If... Damn it. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Bosh. Start killing dudes. This is not what I intended to happen. Yeah, I should take care of it. The, uh, if we destroy it, then we'll have the, uh, then we will definitely, like, have the super weapon that Arcadia has gained access to will be eliminated. And in that, with that decision, we could very well see an end to the war because if Vane doesn't believe that he's going to win, son of a bitch, ain't that some shit? If Vane doesn't believe he's going to win, he may not choose to. Holy shit! Did that thing just cure itself? That is some bullshit there. Without the Without a super weapon, Vayne may not start the war that is, seems inevitable is going to happen. Yeah, he's curing blind on the characters. Ah, oh, okay, it's dead. We're good.
of the gambits of setup where he's trying to cure a character and he's... Oh, whatever. <laughs> Without the Nephysite, Vayne may not start the war. It's been mentioned that maybe the manufactured Nephysite may not be affected by the destruction of the Sun Cruise. But, you know, that's... That's up in the air. We don't really know what's going to happen there. So, Ash has that possibility. There's another possibility, though. She could choose to... Hold on, I'm going to go and cure these guys. On the other hand, if she chooses to not destroy the Sun Chris, she has the ability to use the other blade to go and basically chop off another piece of it, or two pieces, or three pieces, or however many she feels she needs to uh, fight off the Empire. Now, we're the ones that are in possession of the sword. The Empire isn't. So, we're the, we are the only ones that are going to be gaining access to all of these extra pieces of Nethysite, and in fact, the Empire only actually has one... They have two pieces of Nethysite, but only one of them is mischarged, so it's the only one that's going to work. Oh, I hope that's not a bad trap. Yeah, it was a bad trap. <laughs> so, let's say we go and take two pieces of Nephysite. The Empire only has one. We have an advantage. But, that kind of thing, that kind of thought, could be potentially damaging because... Well, we're going to be starting a massive war. Both sides have powerful weapons. Both sides are going to be willing to use them. And, well, a lot of people are going to die in the process. And that doesn't seem like too appealing of a proposition. So it's up to... Hmm. Okay. Huh, I mean, look at all these. This is funny. Oh, The, uh, <laughs> so if we're going to go and fight that way, we could potentially have a problem, like, even though we we would out overpower the Empire, because we have more enough sight, even if we don't never figure out how to use it properly, we could have a problem that they would still use it anyway, and, like, say, Rapanasta would be destroyed, or Arcades would be destroyed. It would be horrible. So that's the decision she has to come to. If we destroy the Nephysite, destroy the Sun Christ. Oh, hold on. Logic states that Vayne would back down as soon as we destroyed his advantage. That doesn't necessarily mean that's what he's going to do. He could very well go through with the war anyway. Without the power of Nephysite on either side, it could still be an extraordinarily bloody war. Remember, it was a war that had already been fought before. Arcadia fought a war against down mass get far more body and still manage to win. Now if um, if uh Rosario gets involved, of course and the stakes of the war are going to escalate. But you know it's gonna be there's no way that this is gonna end well for anybody. So basically so Ash has a rather difficult decision to come to what this thing is getting pretty well dead. It's burned through our MP, though. It's not here. So we're not going to be killing any characters anymore. Once, uh... Huh, 
Series of quickening checks, and it's no point to just add any more. Um, more 